communication and we have covered many topics so far and today we are talking about AJAX post of data independent of a form. Let me first of all explain the problem that we are trying to solve. Suppose you have a razor page. Suppose you have a razor page and inside this razor page you have a form with the method of post. This is the form that you have with the method of post. This form will contain certain input elements but when you obtain this form your from your ASP.NET server this server will automatically add a hidden input a hidden input at the end of this form this hidden input will contain a request verification token this request verification token is added only if the method is post and only if you are using a form tag for your post request this request forgery token it is used for preventing cross site request forgery attacks about that you can study my chapter on cookies there I have explained in detail what is cross site request forgery attack so if you understand the problem now let us move to the solution that if we have to post some data to the server without a form tag let us say I have to send a variable called v1 and along with it I have to send some data let us say 2 to the server this data has to be sent as a post request has to be sent as a post request to the server in an AJAX form and in that case it is not possible let us suppose it is not possible for us to include a form tag which might actually be the case because you can't include form tag for every data that is being sent from a long page for example if you have a long page it might not always be possible to include form tags for each data that has to be posted so what has to be done in this case let us see first of all I will do is I will run that project for you so that you can see the project that we are building and we will this is the visual studio that I've already created start debugging so when the window opens you find just one click link uh, anchor this is what I've done when you click it it sends some post request to the server and I have wired some OK response and that is shown in the form of an anchor uh, in the form of an alert pop-up so this is the only thing that we have to do the basic point is that that this v1 equal to 2 will be sent to the server it will be sent without a form tag so let me now explain the various parts of this project come to the solution explorer this is the project that I have created through an empty template you can do the same thing because that will give you the least number of files that are easier to understand one important file would be the startup file the other files would be index and index let me first of all quickly explain the startup file although this is not required because you must already be aware of this these are the using directives this is the startup class this is the configure services method inside the configure services method add razor pages add support for razor pages this is the first thing that you should do after that this is the configure method and inside the configure method you will add use routing and add endpoints dot map razor pages this will add razor pages as your endpoints recipients for the HTTP requests your requests will be reaching your razor pages and they will be processing that request so this is the second thing that you have to do after this let us come to the markup file index.cshtml this file contains that anchor that will post the data and it will contain the whole AJAX story so let us see how we do it add page directive uh, for the uh, razor page add model for connecting the backing class the index model class the companion of this index.cshtml razor page add tag helper you should always include this even if you think you don't need it 
this will always benefit you and then I have added a few comments on how to handle this story so I'll give you a small overview I told you that when you have a form then anti forgery token is automatically added for you but if you don't have a form tag and you have to simply send a name value pair in that case the technique is that anti forgery token it has to be artificially obtained from the server and then that token is sent through the post request how is it that obtained first of all you will obtain a reference to the INT forgery service at inject will obtain a reference to the INT forgery service that reference I have stored in this variable access RF then after that we will use the method called get and store tokens this method is available on this interface this method it gives me the anti forgery token in an artificial way that anti forgery token will be sent as a header will be sent as a header when I post my data to the server so this is the basic trick let us now practically see how things are happening and where they are happening this is the inject service you obtain access RF uh, this interface this is the anchor tag click to post v1 that the user clicks and this is the script and in this script you are adding a click event to your this click button to this button and here let us suppose that the data that we have to send is of name uh, v1 and its value is 2 this data is written in a json format and this json format is put into a variable called data to send if you have a complex data an array or more variables then this same format is used and that data is stored here it is maybe created it is synthesized this string this format the json format is then stored as data to send after that you call the fetch api for sending the ajax request to the index page this slash will take the request to the index page then the method has been specified as post body will be json dot stringify this data this will be the body of the request and in the headers the header that we are adding is request verification token is the name of the header keep the spellings exactly the same and here the value that is given is at access rf dot get and store tokens this is the context and dot request token it will give you the anti forgery token this token will be sent along with the headers for your request so this is the trick that happens and after that when your request is received back we use an alert to display the data now let me show you what happens on the server side on the server side this is my index model backing class this is the on post method that will receive the ajax request and here i have written string v1 this v1 matches that data that is coming that is being posted from the client side if you have more variables then more of them could be added here if you have a complex class a bigger data then a single class followed by its identifier will also work for you so you can send as much data as you like of course subject to the protocol limits artificial delay to just help you out to see if you want to show some please wait and all and new JSON result ok this ok message is sent we could have done anything so I always want to keep the things simple this message will be sent to the server and as you can see when we run this application this ok is actually shown as an alert let it and this is the ok message that you receive so this is how we do the whole story. I'll close it right now. 
थैंक यू